I'm Jade, I'm an advanced research assistant in cellular operations at the Wellcome Sanger Institute. Cellular operations is a massive pipeline and it starts from the generation of the cancer organoids to the screening of the cancer organoids to the use of them in clinical research. The aim of my part of the pipeline is to ensure that the cancer organoids are expressing the markers that we want to see so that they can be used in clinical research. A typical day for me involves checking the organoids under the microscope to make sure they're growing and they're healthy. I take a picture of them and then add it to our electronic lab book, get the reagents I need and prepare the hood. The two main systems we use in our pipeline are the CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing tool used to insert or remove genes and the gRNA screen where we use a virus to insert a specific marker into the gene of a cancer organoid to see if it's been expressed. Yeah, I'm definitely very excited working with organoids as models for cancer development. They're relatively new in the field and there's still loads to find out about them and how they work and how they interact with each other. You just don't know where they're going to take future developments in cancer treatments. Although I work alone on my project, I work in a massive team. So we get to socialise, we talk to each other and help each other out. And yeah, we listen to a bit of music sometimes. To be a scientist, you need to be tenacious because not every experiment is going to go to plan. You're going to experience a lot of failures. Things can be very unpredictable. You do have to think on your feet and be able to adapt. I always knew that I wanted to be in science. So I started off doing GCSEs like any other school student. I did additional science. Then I went on to my A-levels. Went a bit overboard. I did psychology, chemistry, physics, and biology. And yes, my head exploded. <laughs> so I dropped out after the first year um, and went on to a BTEC in applied science. And then with that natural diploma, I got into the University of Worcester and I studied animal biology. After university, I worked at the Francis Crick Institute where I stayed for six years in various different roles. Then after the Francis Crick, I moved to the Sanger. I do enjoy being a scientist. Every time I say, oh, I'm a scientist, people are like, what? <laughs> they just don't know how to react. And then, yeah, having to explain afterwards what I actually do is even more confusing. <laughs> in the future, I'd like to stay in science. That's where I'm meant to be. The scientific field's always changing. There's always things to learn. When I was in school, I could have never imagined myself working with cancer organoids because they weren't even a thing when I was in school. <laughs> um, but I'm glad that life has ended up this way and it's taken me here. There's still much to learn from cancer organoids. I think it's just the start. It's just the beginning.